my channel, I've proved that RC cars are capable of doing incredible things. Well, not that incredible. So it got me thinking, are these machines capable of beating man? Which is exactly why today is a battle of men versus machine. We'll use these three challenges to help determine the winner. And if I let mankind down and actually lose this thing, my punishment is taking an ice bath. And I absolutely hate the cold, so there's no way I'm gonna let myself lose this thing. For the first challenge, we're gonna go into the most basic form of human entertainment, fighting. I'm gonna go shake their hands. <laughs> I don't know if anyone told this RC car, but I wrestled in middle school. All right, and... After proving that thumbs are superior, we can move on to challenge number two. We are 1-0, baby. I am not doing this for me. I'm doing it for mankind. Let's go! All right, so for the next battle, to prove how great we are as humans, we're going to race from these cones all the way to those cones out there. Let's do this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stupid car. The second challenge wasn't even close, and now I'm one step closer to getting an ice bath. We knew that I was gonna lose that race. I mean, me versus a 50 mile an hour car, I'm fast, but I'm not that fast. There's gonna be three levels increasing in difficulty for the tug of war challenge. If I lose any of these levels, then I lose the entire challenge. Three. Two, one. So you're probably wondering how both me and the RC car are pulling in the same direction. That's because we're using pulleys. This is a pulley. A single pulley redirects force, which is the reason both me and the RC car are pulling in the same direction. Holy cow, this is gonna be harder than I thought. That was pretty tough for giving this thing no advantage at all. So the first round goes to your boy. This thing is actually a beast. Like I'm not, I'm not joking around. Like that actually yanked me in the beginning. So let's give it another shot now. So for the second level, we're using four pulleys. And this is where the magic happens. To put it simply, pulleys multiply force. The way you know how much force you're multiplying is simple. You just multiply the amount of lines that you see weaving in and out of the pulleys. There are four lines, which means the RC car will be pulling with four times its original pulling power. Three, two, one, go! All right, all right. <laughs> that was crazy. That was definitely a tie. We were, we were definitely stalled. The truck wasn't winning. I definitely wasn't winning. Maybe the truck was inching out a little bit, but I think I steered clear of the ice bath. We just have one more shot of this and uh, we'll see if more pulleys makes that truck win. I really don't want to go into this ice bath. I hate the cold so much. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> To help you understand what's going on here, we added two more pulleys, which means the RC car now will pull with six times its original force, which is crazy because that means if it originally pulled with 100 pounds of force, it now will pull with 600 pounds of force. Three, two, one, go! Oh! <laughs> That is a beast. That thing is a beast. All right, I want one more shot. I want one more shot before the ice bath. You're going down. Three, two, one, go. I got destroyed. Oh, now I gotta go into this ice bath. Stupid truck. All right, we're going in. <laughs> I hate ice bath so much. Woo! Oh my God. All right, we're starting it. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh my god. This is freezing. It is so cold. <laughs> this is Wim Hof, baby. The Stallone Hof. <laughs>